Well, what's good, everyone? My name is Hims, and we're standing directly in the middle of the location for our future mega base. Now, the first step to that mega base is to build a huge storage room that we can move all of our items in from our starter base. We just, we gotta get organized, man. We gotta get organized. Okay, okay. Well, let's go ahead and check our resources. We do need a bunch of glass. We have 33. 33 glass? Are you kidding me? So, I went on a mega mining mission, gathering up all the necessary materials to get the job done. We haven't found a desert in this world yet, but we do have these huge islands filled with sand that we can take from. And you know, hey, we gotta do what we gotta do, right? We also needed a lot of coal to smelt this sand down into glass, but thankfully we had a bunch back at the orc camp. Walking from my orc camp all the way over here to our mega base location, it just, it takes way too long. What up, dude? Oh yeah, now we're cooking. I know, that was bad, sorry. Oh, there's just something so awesome about having a full inventory of glass. I don't know what it is. And we still got more cooking, but we're also going to need a lot of smooth stone because that's what I want to build up the base of this with. And well, if we follow this cobblestone line, it will lead directly diagonally from the main storage area, which is going to be right here. And this is where we're going to put our mining operations for our mega base. It's kind of like right at the edge right where this river meets up so this is going to be a good spot for it and so i started digging a rough outline of where i want the future mine to be i'm only digging down to level 16 because some iron and some coal would be nice while building but like i said we will build this mine up in the future and we will do it large trust me we got a bunch of stone right here. We also got a bunch of glass and I think it's time that we just start building. I want to get the base idea for this down first. I can build up the foundation, build up the dome, and then we're going to go ahead and detail it afterwards. And with that being said, we started building. Two, this is supposed to be one, two, three, four. No. Oh. That's supposed to be three. Wait, hold on. Okay, one. And after three hours, we finally got it finished. And here it is. You know, these things aren't that hard to build, but they are very time consuming and resource intensive. I'm pretty sure we used like two double chest fulls, like almost two and a half. Look at that. But it finally is done. Uh, when I say it's done, I mean like the base layer of it is done, right? Now we get to come through here and add a bunch of details, which is the first being this giant gaping hole right here. I know this is not the entrance to the dome. The entrance is actually going to be up here. This is something that I just wanted to mess around with, though. I think I want to put these on every side like this on, and on every diagonal diagonal and it'll kind of look like a support holding up the dome. I think it'll look really cool. Yo, Hams. What's up? You forgot to swoosh in the next frame. Oh, right, right, right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of what I'm aiming for. I think I want, Hmm. See, now I have a situation where these are too big to put another one in the middle of these, but this part's also too big, so maybe I need to make them a little wider. Okay, yeah, something a little more like that. So now this bottom part doesn't look like the base for the dome. It just looks like something that's holding the dome up. I think I like that a lot better. And as you can see, I'm starting to peel back this landscape too. I don't want to make it all completely flat. But I do want this to kind of flow a little better. We could also border it with some of this smooth stone. Yep, yep, I'm really liking the way this is turning out. I don't really know what's going to be in the middle of this, but yeah, our storage room is going to be up in the dome, so there is going to be a vacant space under here. We'll probably end up filling it up with farms or something like that but yeah i want this and then i actually want an outer ring that goes all the way across this kind of like the rings of saturn and i think i have a pretty cool idea for that ring so let me go ahead and build that here is the ring and it really just made it pop out made it look more grandiose and i also built this groovy little staircase made it kind of flare out at the bottom just for a little bit of extra shape and yeah i think i'm going to go ahead and do that on every single side but i do have some stuff in my inventory okay now these aren't going to be permanent this is just kind of like a mock-up right we're doing like a little test build but i want to grow this Invisible leaves. Okay, we have all of the trees in place, and yeah, these are definitely placeholders. We are going to be building some custom trees in the future. But I also have some blocks in my inventory, and I just want to go about, you know, and place them down. It's there's like little seating areas, right? So this is my thought process is that this is like a little communal area, like a little hangout spot because this is going to be the center of our base more or less, we'll say. And although we won't spend a lot of time on the ring particularly, you know, I hope to fill this place out with a bunch of villagers pretty soon. And everything you see right here is a placeholder, but I like to come in here with you guys and design from time to time uh, with you guys and kind of bring you guys through my thought process. 
Okay, I'm liking the way that this is looking. Now, remember, guys, all this is going to change in the very near future. These are going to be custom trees for sure, as well as the dome is going to look a lot different. But yeah, I'm liking the way that this is looking out. This is this is the plan. This is the plan moving forward. But we are missing one crucial thing for this storage room. That is actual storage and well, a floor. And I have no clue how I'm going to do this. So yeah, I guess we'll figure it out. Well, I had some sort of a clue. I knew I wanted four hallways that intersected directly in the middle with walls that are just lined with chests. But to get all the wood for those chests, I basically had to deforest the whole forest. But we finally got enough wood for all the chests. 200 and 88. That is the number of chests that we have, and I'm pretty sure that this is gonna last us for a very long time. Now, I still don't really know how I'm gonna sort it, and these hallways are looking very bland. Uh, these torches aren't gonna stay for long. We do need to get a lighting source in here, but the lighting source that I want, we don't have yet, which are sea lanterns. So, I don't know. Maybe we have to go grab those soon, right? So, we have 288 chests. I think the next plan of action is to fill out this, the rest of this space that is basically being unused in the dome. Now, I have an idea. Okay, I have have an idea you guys just got to kind of roll with me here All right, so check it out. We put in a floor of grass right here and call me crazy, but I kind of want to bring in a bunch of nature. And you know, I'm kind of missing the jungle a little bit. So what more nature is than a rainforest inside of this dome? It could be like a, a, a biodome. I really like the idea of a futuristic civilization incorporating and using nature as much as possible into their buildings so doing something like this would be really cool okay here is the moment of truth i don't know how tall this is gonna grow if it'll even grow at all okay that didn't break anything i don't think so i can even grow like single ones right yeah i could grow single ones so this is gonna be really good okay so i am pretty happy with how this is coming along i just did one side for now or one little quadrant and i'm still waiting for the bamboo to grow because i did put a bunch of little bamboo in there you can see right there but i'm liking how this is turning out i had a couple ideas like making a vine out of leaves right here in between these two trees i replaced some of the logs on this tree with some mossy moss blocks mossy moss and then i also have a little fallen stump or a little fallen limb tree right here with some moss. Uh, I really messed up not doing this quadrant first. This is kind of my platform where I view the base from. Uh, maybe we could make another one over there. Okay, yeah, I'm really liking the way that this is looking. It just looks wild. And I know it looks like a lot of green right now, but believe me, whenever we get the rest of this mega base built in, there's not going to be a lot of green left around. So this is going to be like a breath of fresh air, literally. Now I just got to do all the other sides and that might take a little while, guys. So yeah, I'll be right back. All right, team. Well, here it is. I finally finished all of the quadrants. And I don't know, in my opinion, I, I really like the way it looks. Dude, check it out. I even put a little waterfall. But we have one thing left to do in this episode that I really wanted to get done is this outer ring. I want to make these birch trees actual custom trees and decorate more of this outer ring. And well, how are we going to do that? Well, let's go ahead and uh, show you, right? Let's, let's try to build a custom birch tree. Even though these are custom birch trees, I'm not going to be using birch leaves. I'm actually going to be using oak leaves just because they are a little more vibrant green and i like that so i want these trees to be a little smaller so that's why we are using birch fences but let's go ahead and build up a good amount eight okay let's go up eight and then we're gonna go up one two three with the leaves okay i know this is not <laughs> looking too great so let's go ahead and add some branches let's go ahead and add two coming out that way one out that way and it's just this simple right just putting in branches okay on those branches now we are going to put a leaf on top of every fence right and then a leaf on every side as well and that should give us a very good shape to this tree starting out okay okay so you guys see it's starting to look more like a tree let's just go ahead and add some more girth amongst these branches let's go ahead and get rid of this one actually and just you know it, it's more of an art form just trying to place down the leaves and trying to get the shape right and all that but after placing in a couple more leaves i mean we really do start to get a tree shape now compare this tree to this tree which one do you guys think looks better yes this is exactly what i'm talking about i like the way that that looks so now i'm gonna go ahead and do that for the rest of the trees and we're also gonna start placing in some bone meal and flowers and all sorts of good stuff well i did all the trees all the custom birch trees and i gotta say they are looking amazing i actually love the way that they came out i actually changed my mind for these little seating areas now right now i don't really want them but in the future we may revisit them but what i do want to do is start putting in bone meal all over the place i think it's gonna make the whole thing pop especially with all the different flower colors incorporated yes dude i am loving the way that this looks the custom trees with all the bone meal and the flowers i mean they just look amazing and then we have this huge bio 
dome jungle. I think the whole thing looks really cool. Uh, hey, dude, dude, don't mind my render distance. And I have been spending literally all week on this project, but I, I am very happy with how it came out. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys, we have a little bit of an issue. I could have created a mob spawner. Uh, yeah, we'll do uh, we'll do all that in the future. I mean, just look how awesome it looks coming into this place, and we have 288 chests, which I will fill and organize uh, in between videos. I've had a lot of time to play Minecraft recently, and I'm happy I did because this project would have never came to life if I didn't. It's just large. It's a brand new day for adventure. Well, not really for us because it is the end of the episode. But of course, before we end it off, we have to do a comment of the day. And this comment of the day is by Mike Croak Phone, and they said, "I imagine there." will be four corridors for stuff in the storage and four doors maybe they're referring to last episode when i asked everyone what they think this will be also don't know if it was in your plans but i imagine every kingdom will have the unique building style right and yes they will so maybe at the mega base you can make towers with that style in the direction of the kingdoms just to help when moving around and help us figure out where everything is because sometimes it's kind of difficult to imagine the layout of the worlds in the videos and mike croak phone that is a great idea it truly is an I will be building towers or some sort of indicator telling the viewers which direction all the kingdoms are in. I really do like that idea, Mike Croak Phone, so thank you so much for the comment. And well, I mean, that's the end of this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. I really hope that this project has given you some sort of inspiration or something. Go ahead and leave a like, comment, and subscribe. But until next time, guys, I'm out.